Hey everybody, I hope all of you are doing great. So this video is all about how much R or Python needed to be a successful data or business analyst. Okay. So first of all, guys, understand one thing. We have a two different profiles, which is a data analyst and then we have a business analyst. Okay. So in this video, let's talk about a difference between both these profiles and how much R and Python needed for a data analyst position and for the business analyst position as well. Okay. Both are the positions which is quite different. The roles and responsibilities are also quite different. Okay. When it comes to data analyst position, they work core with the proper, you know, data, proper understanding requirements of a client's uh, working on reports, working on dashboard, understanding a data. Data analyst is a sort of technical profile. Okay. And business analyst is sort of even techno functional profile. Okay. So there is a difference that data analyst is a core technical profile and business analyst is a core techno functional profile and definitely differ from company to company as well in the data analyst we somewhat require the skills like sql then we have power bi for sure then a bit of excel and a bit of python as well and guys understand one thing for data analyst, you don't need to require a complete Python. You require a bit of Python. For an example, a some sort of data visualization libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Plotly, ggplot2. So these are some of the data visualization libraries of R and Python. Okay. So you don't need to have expertise in both the scripting languages. As of now, R is not that much in demand so you can go with python as well python is somewhat which is recommendable for a data analyst position okay so you can go for a bit of python and only the data visualization libraries okay mainly the two libraries numpy and pandas and you can try exploring python in the jupyter notebook in a simplest way possible okay so you just need to have a basics to intermediate level of knowledge of python when it comes to a data analyst positions now the business analyst position for business analyst position guys companies are looking more for a good soft skills for an example in a business analyst domain you need to have a very good communication skills listening skills, leadership skills, time management skills, storytelling as well. So these are some of the soft skills we are looking in a business analyst role. And of course, you need to have a very good knowledge about Power BI because ultimately here we need to create reports. Okay. So for business analyst, a one BI tool knowledge is enough. For data analyst position, you need to be you know, good in multi-purpose languages, multi-tools as well, because your job need to core working with data as a data analyst. Your job need to core working with data. And as a business analyst, your job core inclined towards understanding the business as well. Okay, so business analyst core working with understanding the businesses, understanding the requirement of the client. And once they got a complete requirement, then they switch to a data analyst. Okay, then they give all the requirements to a data analyst. And after that data analyst work core with the company's requirement, fulfill the requirement and working on reporting and dashboarding as well. Okay. So the answer of this question that how much Python needed to become a data analyst, the answer is basics to intermediate level of Python knowledge is more than enough, which includes a sort of a data cleaning, data manipulation, data visualization, working on a four to five data analysis and visualization libraries on Python. This is something which is more than enough to become a data analyst. Okay. And for a business analyst position, this much Python is also not required. Fine. So if you want to go in the core data industry, okay. So if you want to go core in the data industry, then guys, Excel is something which is of course important. Okay. 
axle and after that then we have power bi of course it is important after that sql as well it is important and the optional can be python okay so python is quite optional in the analytics domain because nowadays we have a business intelligence tools like power bi so power bi itself capable of doing every automation data cleaning you talk about data transformation data manipulation data reporting dashboarding everything we can do in power bi okay python is still used by the companies those who have not upgraded themselves to the business intelligence tool so for each and every one of you make sure that you incline towards working with business intelligence tool which are already machine learning and deep learning enabled don't just you know uh, focus core on coding don't focus core on python because you are end up learning python but nothing else core for a data and business analyst position if you want to go for a data scientist position or data engineer position then the scenario will be different then of course python is something which is mandatory i'm repeating it again that in a data industry we have three core profiles data engineering data science and data analyst okay so yes for data scientist and data engineering of course python is much needed okay or we can say one of the mandatory skill as well but for a data analyst position rather than python having a business intelligence tools knowledge like power bi is more important i hope it's clear that python is not at all very compulsory or mandatory for data or business analyst position yes for data scientist and data engineering positions python is a language which is mandatory and still if you want to upgrade your skills to python for a data or analyst position then core learn a bit of core libraries like numpy pandas work a core on data visualization manipulation using a jupyter notebook that's it that's the only python is needed for a analyst sort of positions okay i hope it's quite clear and if you like this particular video and if you feel like this video can be helpful for your friends uh for colleagues and family members do share this particular video do subscribe to my youtube channel as well because it took a lot of efforts to create these sort of videos for you so do subscribe do like do comment and i will see you in my next video bye bye until then have fun please take care